What? Who? Who? That? That's Beetlejuice? Representing greed! Hey guys, we are back for ReZero. Holy shit, we just... We're going right after the peak episode, man. This is obviously... I'm recording this for a couple days after the last recording, but like, oh my god. Like, we just witnessed peak. I never thought we would get that this early. I guess that makes sense. I mean, I mean, it's episode 40, if you think about it overall. Finally, Amelia and Subaru confess their true feelings for each other. Well, really, it's Subaru confessing his true feelings for Amelia and Amelia finally accepting them because Amelia didn't believe that she deserved his love. And now, after all this time, he finally convinced her. What did it take? What did it? What proof did it take? That's exactly what I wanted my man to do because she was like, prove it. And he was like, here you go. Smooch. Let's go. Fucking, fucking hype oh my goodness ah i was so amped up in that last episode not only that because of that happening but also just because otto turned out to be this freaking amazing character that i had no idea he had in him like i remember watching him in like season one of like or i think it was core two of season one during the whale arc and i just thought he was kind of like a quirky guy kind of funny subaru was really taking advantage of him but like I guess Otto just realized that Subaru had that dog in him and he realized that this was going to be one of his best friends. So he's been trying to support him from the shadows the whole time. He just kept popping up, especially in this season, uh, helping them get to the sanctuary in the first place. But th th he found he wants to do it. He, he really does. And you, you see, you saw his whole backstory there and it was fucking beautiful. It was sad as hell, but like it was great that he got to be able to use his powers for good and kind of be, made himself the man that he is today, kind of without the help of his family. I mean, he definitely supported his family. He loved his family. He loved when he finally got to talk to them because of his hearing disorder that turned out to be like a special power from the gods where he can hear like the voices of all things, essentially kind of similar to like One Piece, if you guys have ever heard of that um but yeah honestly pretty fucking awesome man I, I i'm i'm really hyped for Otto, and i really like him a lot more it reminded me of the way odo writes side characters in some of the arcs where it's just like you didn't give a crap about them going into the arc but then by the time the arc ends you're like this is the best character i've ever fucking seen and that was Otto. that was Otto in the last episode so i'm really happy for him happy for subaru happy for amelia but we, we're not done here we're not done here garf is right outside waiting to see what's going to happen next. I have no idea what Garf's going to do. I think Subaru is probably going to try to convince him to, you know, become less hostile in some way because this is the good timeline right now. This is the really good timeline right now with Otto surviving, um, you know, Ram surviving, Amelia saying, I love you. Puck dying though. Puck dying. I forgot about that, bro. I don't know if it's permanent. I really don't know if it's permanent. I'm not going to say it's permanent yet because we don't know. He could come back somehow. Maybe. But if he is gone, he did this for Amelia. It was beautiful. It was freaking beautiful. Also, check my Satella theory at, in the last video, or maybe it was two videos ago. I think I put it in both videos, actually. My Satella Amelia theory, I think I'm cooking with some Steinsgate stuff there. So if you haven't seen that, go over to those old videos. I'll, I don't want to rehash it again. But basically, Satella is Amelia from the future. That's my thoughts. But if you want more information, go over to my old videos. And while you're doing that, make sure you like this video so that it lets me know that you guys are enjoying these ReZero reactions and that you're going to enjoy the Season 3 reactions when we finally get to that in the fall. I'm really looking forward to that. It's going to be amazing. Subscribe if you're new to the channel, by the way. It's down there right next to the like button. If you hit that, then you hit the other one too. And then also turn your notifications on so that way you know the ReZero videos are going live and when you know so you know that when i'm going to start reacting to the new season if you guys want to know if you guys want to see me react to that you know gotta subscribe of course <laughs> okay this is awkward anyways comment down below also what you guys think about these episodes of re-zero i'm really enjoying the discourse that we've been having in the re-zero chats lately it started out when i was doing it like six months ago it was getting like 50 views like no comments and now in the last two videos like we've already gotten like way up like like five times that and a lot more comments and people talking about it it makes me really happy to see i really appreciate your guys' support i love reading your comments and talking to you guys so keep it coming there if you want to support me even further go to my patreon links in the description below for that you get access to the uncut versions of these reactions out earlier than youtube for just two dollars a month and you get invited to our discord server where we have people from all over the world talking about anime talking about 
life things, posting pictures of their dogs, what they ate for lunch to that day. Um, also, pictures of sexy anime girls and, and husbandos and stuff. So if you like that too, it's in there. But there's no, honestly, it's a really fun time in there if you want to join. Um, you can also join by joining as a YouTube member down below. If you have any trouble like linking your accounts or anything, just send me a DM on Twitter. I'll try to help best I can. I appreciate you all guys. Let's get into ReZero. Let's go. And shit, before I start this, I'm going to freaking pop a beer, man. It's been a long day. What the hell is this? What am I looking at right now? Garf? Is that a young Garf? Oh, wait, is this Garf backstory right now? By the way, this is my eat shirt because we're eating good today with what we saw in the last episode of ReZero. Also, is that Satella pulling him out? Of the sanctuary? Who pulled him out of the sanctuary? This is definitely Garf, right? Who pulled him out? That's how he got the... Oh, no, it was Ryuzu. It was Ryuzu who pulled him out. That's how he got the scar on his head. Oh, my God. What did he see? What did they show him in there? That's how he got the scar. It looks pretty fucking cool, I'll tell you that. Oh. So how do we reason with them? Amelia on his arm is... I love it. Don't tell me he... No, he was safe, right? He even one ram over. You're fucked. Oh, okay. He's not answering the question. Put an end to it? But smashing the entrance? No, why did he doesn't want to expose himself to the outside world? He's afraid. How do we stop him? Huh? Amelia. <gasps> she's protecting him. Oh, she's protecting her man now. Let's go. Okay, now I understand why people thought that, like, in that trailer... Like, I didn't watch the trailer. I just saw the fucking picture of the trailer for season three where Amelia's titties look fucking massive. And now they compared it to this screenshot. Now I understand the context behind this screenshot. But she's got, like, the thing over her chest. She's got, like, an overcoat, which is also, like, very loose. So it kind of makes her breasts look smaller. But we all know Amelia's got decent-sized titties under there. We all know this. <laughs> Outside! Whoa, whoa, Amelia, going off. Yeah, 100% you are. Whoa. That's definitely true. Oh, appeal to him with empathy. And Puck's gone. Now I find, dude, that's how I feel right now. Dude, that is literally how I feel right now. I'm going to relate this to real life for a second. I had somebody who I was, like, basically leaving all the annoying and bad things up to. And I just tried to forget that they existed. And now that person's gone. And now I have to deal with all of the bad things and, and annoying and hard things that I didn't have to do before. And it really, like, adultizes you real quick when you realize that, okay, wait, if I don't do this nobody's gonna do this so i better learn how to fucking do this and that's what amelia is coming to this realization right now as well kind of similar almost the exact same time that i am in real life that's pretty crazy that's a well put way the hiding all the bad things and annoying things and trying to forget them because you had somebody in your life who was protecting you from the world and a lot of people for a lot of people that's your parents right that's your parents they, they, they do that for you and then you get out into the real world and you have to realize you have to learn how to do shit by yourself because if you rely on people for your whole life you're, you're well you're never you're not going to be able to do that because your parents are going to die and then you're not going to be able to take care of them and then you're not going to be able to take care of yourself and then you're not a fucking person you're a fucking worthless piece of shit so like you need to like grow up a little bit and if realize that you have to take responsibility for your damn self and that's what's going on right now oh how do we oh don't you ever uh, what is it damn they're just gonna talk shit to him she won't fail it again but she kept standing up Yeah, 
Damn. Grudge against yourself? Or your mother? Ooh. <gasps> oh. Damn. I love that. Oh my god, look, we are piercing into his soul right now. Oh, he's backing down! Yeah, did you even know that? Damn! You hate them, it's not even that he's afraid of them. Well, he's afraid of being hurt, too. That's definitely it. I think they've got it, man. Damn, speak to us. We want to help you. Right? What's what's that? Oh? Okay, talk to us. Garf? I wanted. Oh. 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 What? What? Do we know that for a fact? She looks so happy as a mother. That's no, there's no way. I saw it in the graveyard. No way. Is it real though? It was in the gra it was in the sanctuary. That's what he believed, but it wasn't true. Dude. Oh my God, dude. His voice actor is so fucking good. But he can't. He loves her. He doesn't. That's not true. He loves her so much. What? We failed the. We failed the charisma check. Oh. I'm gonna. How is that protecting them? They don't want. You're. You're killing them. I'll protect them. It's not protecting. That's not protecting, dude. Oh, no. Oh, man. This is a good timeline. Come on. There's got to be a way. There's got to be a way. Oh, what? Amelia's going to fight? What are you going to do? He can, he can just kill you with one hit. What? What are you doing? Oh. Oh, Shamak? Thank you? Oh, okay. All right. Wait, it's putting him back to normal? It deformed him. Oh, the... Wait, the crystal? He jammed it in his arm. Wait, it was Frederica's crystal? That did it? White puck? What is happening? Damn, look at who the guy calling him a coward. Even after hey, I mean, he's not a coward right now, I'll tell you that. This is this is Chad Subaru right here. I 
I think it is right now. Okay, he's gonna take that one. He's gonna take that one. He turned his cheek a little bit. Damn, Subaru, what the fuck? With the smile, too! Damn, a tooth! He lost a tooth! None of them want to stop here, bro. I want to change. That's your starting. Oh my god, they play the music right when he says that. My god. That's so inspirational, Subaru. Oh my god. Oh. Rem. Let's go. Okay. Anime just knows when to play the opening. <laughs> Wait, what? what is that? What is happening right now? Bro's going Ultra Instinct? What? What? Is that? Is this Stella doing this? And he throws up a little bit. He still got up. <laughs> Come on, get knocked out. Please fall. Ryuzu. Ryuzu is going to come. Ryuzu's gonna come. Or, or Otto. Or somebody else. Oh, Patrash with the fucking dub! Let's go, Patrash! <laughs> Let's go! Especially after last time. <laughs> the victory screech! <laughs> victory screech! <laughs> There had to be a better way. Nobody can lift it. His, not, another one of his sayings that I still don't understand. <laughs> Both of them knocked out. Okay. I mean, whoa. What? S Satella gave him that? So now we have a form to it. Looks kind of nasty. Unseen hand. Unperceived impact. Invisible providence. <laughs> what? Oh, he's on her lap! Bro! What a way to wake up! <laughs> you know he loves it. <laughs> Hi, hi. <laughs> Aw, so cute. Otto! <laughs> Baka! Now, <laughs> what are you gonna say? He definitely saved you. This is how two, fr two friends duke it out, though. Come here, my best of friendo. My best of friendo. That's what I need him to say it just like. I need you to say it like Itadori says it. My friendo. Huh? My best of friendo. And Pat trust you. Damn. She loves you. Oh, it's so cute. Aw. Aw. 
I love it. It's so cute. Oh, Ram's even giving him a lap pillow. Oh, that's cute. Seeing Amelia smile after all this time, man. Makes me so happy. Both both guys got got the didn't get off already. <laughs> How long have they been lying there? <laughs> yeah, Baris. Gaff. Damn. You're an idiot. <laughs> Don't try to think you're stupid. Damn. You better listen. You perfect loser. <laughs> I think that's a good, I think that is a good translation right there. Damn. And which is exactly what he's been doing. Go. Take the trial yourself. Yeah, which one is he? Damn, I'm feeling like this is about like adulthood right now, man. This whole this whole arc for Garf. Honestly, for Garf, for Amelia, for Subaru, for all of them. Growing up. It's almost like a rite of passage. It's really fucked up rite of passage, but it's a rite of passage. Oh shit. As a favor to an old friend, not a girlfriend. Oh wow, are we gonna about to get the full Garf flashback right now? Oh boy, we haven't even made it past this first trial like ever. A second trial, I mean. All right, here it is. We're about to get it. Oh, here's the truth. Yuzu was there? Frederica and Garf? Look at how happy she was. Ryuzu had to take care of him? Oh, they don't want to say... Oh my god, the little crystals are from their mother! Fuchan? What is mom doing? I wish we could go together, but I'm too clumsy. What is she talking about? So was she a pure heart? So was was mom the the human then, and they were, and the dad was the beast? Oh, see, she definitely loved him. I'll bring your father back? What? Tosan. Is Tosan the one we should be mad at then? Nope. She was... <gasps> Frederica's talking to him. Oh. Because she loves you. Oh, this is so fucking sad. Oh, so... So wait, is she still? Are we saying she's still alive? What are we saying, man? She sure did. Oh. 
What? He did that for that reason? Oh my god. <laughs> you gotta find your own answer. Then why don't you go see her? What do you want? Make your own path. What? Who is expecting that? And who needs you? Keep going. Keep going. I love that so much, man. Oh, God. Oh. The murder son things always get me. <laughs> They're clones. <laughs> he made it out. Oh, old eggs. Baba Tachi. <laughs> oh, he looks, you can tell he's a different person now. Oh. oh, that's important. Um, yeah, it's Amelia's. What's the next trial, though? He's going to say sorry. Oh, <laughs> seeing him be all bashful after all, everything we've gone through. <laughs> Look at that blush. <laughs> this is the good timeline, man. Boss. Oh my god. Subaru's the old brother. What? He's only 14? Uh, <laughs> that loop sound even. Uh, he's a chuny. <laughs> All right, Amelia. She got you got it this time. Oh, can we do it again? Can we do it again? Oh, no, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Don't, 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 don't run this back. Don't say anything. Subaru, just don't say anything right now. Just shut up. Just shut up. Yes, good, good, good. Perfect, perfect. Okay, whew. Dude, there's so many anime where the main character will just walk it back after that and be like, Oh, yeah, I didn't mean anything by it. Oh, don't worry. Don't worry. <laughs> I don't actually have those feelings. Dude, there's so many anime where that happens, and I'm so glad that didn't just happen. I was getting nervous for a second. I was like, Subaru, do not lose your Chad status right now, sir. You got it, Amelia. Come on. Daytime! Let's go! Oh, there we go. Get the shiny smile. <laughs> hi, hi. That's all you get. <laughs> Are we going to see it from her perspective now? Watch out for cars and boys. <laughs> that sounds like something somebody says to their daughter after they go <laughs> when they're going out on the town. Taisho is what he calls them now. Does he really talk in a weird way in Japanese? Are you? When you uh, kissed Amelia? What? Uh, what? What? <laughs> Wait, what? Am I missing something right now? Wait, go back. What the heck? Got a little desperate? What are we talking about here? Are we just talking about... Are we talking about Amelia and, and Subaru's kiss? Is that what he's talking about? 
I feel like such a dumbass right now. I feel like I'm missing something. What? What are all these little drawings? Oh, this? Oh, that's what he's talking about. He drew this for her. Oh. That's what he was doing. That's why he was all... That's why he was all dirty. That's why he left. He drew this for her. That's what he was doing. I'll never forgive you until you apologize. Whoa. Oh, here we go. Oh, he's she's going to talk to Echidna now? Amelia versus Echidna? You loose woman? Oh. Oh. Damn, what the fuck is this? She's pissed. Okay, you know you know what? It's because she's jealous, okay? Also, 29-minute episode? Holy fuck. No opening or ending, too. ReZero just goes off. What? What? Wait, wh why don't you say something? Who? Who? What? The Frozen Witch? Born in Elior Forest? She's just Frozen Witch. Oh. It's like a side to Amelia we haven't ever seen. The Frozen Witch? Is that like a real thing? Wow, dude. That drop at the end with Amelia admitting that she herself is a witch. Daughter of a witch, according to Echidna, but which one are we talking about? Which witch? Which witch is, is, is a bitch? Like, that's, that's what we need to know. Which witch is bitch? That's what we need to know. Like, what the fuck? Are we talking about one of the witches? Like, one of these witches? Daughters? Or, uh, what? Like, whoa. What the hell? Dude, that's crazy. I love that confident Amelia, though. I've We've never seen her like this. And just having that breakthrough, kind of become, have forcing yourself to be to become a little bit more adult-like and growing that support from Subaru has let her be her true self. And now I can't wait to see more of it in Echidna's domain, which pushes which, which, which will win this round. I can't wait to see what happens next. But also Garf's backstory. Fuck yeah, man. Garf, I've been waiting to understand him. I've been waiting to understand why he does what he does, but now it all makes so much more sense for sure. Garf just couldn't let go of his, his past. He, uh, just like everybody else here, actually. Very similar to both Subaru, both very similar to uh, Amelia here, could not move on. Uh, but eventually, the Sanctuary and the people in the Sanctuary forced each other to move on. And Garf had to learn the real truth and accept the real truth that his mother seems to have fallen in just to a terrible accident, and it's not anybody's fault. It's just coincidence, at least that we know of right now. Um, that she passed away and she loved them so much and she was gonna go see their father. I wonder if their father's still alive. Father would be the beast man, hopefully, I think, because mom looked very much not beast-like at all. So I think the next step for Garf is to speak to his sister and just see what, what else they can find out about their family and go from there. If he wants to learn more, if he even wants to see his dad, did, did we find out anything about his dad before that I forgot about? It? I'm trying to think, but I'm not sure. But anyways, Crazy good episode. I loved it. I love where the direction we're going with this good timeline, and I can't wait to get into the next episode, so let's check it out. Oh, shit. Uh, what? 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 The actual Amelia backstory? Trapped in ice? Completely naked, of course, because obviously she has to be. See, I told you her boobas were there. I told you. Is this the right chat? Wait, is this the right one? Yeah, this is 42. Okay. Oh, Puck. Wait, we've seen this. We saw this in the movie. We saw this in the movie. I couldn't find you for all this time. And this is Puck crying. Oh.
Dude, we saw this in the movie! What? It's not frozen over anymore? Wait, is this a rewind? Wait, is this actually a rewind? Are we going to see Amelia's ba full backstory? <gasps> That's why it's the forest! That's why Echidna's in the forest! This is actually her backstory! Oh, here we go. She doesn't want to be here. She's pissed. <laughs> Maybe a little bit. What? What? Huh? It's a separate world that rep. Yeah, like we saw it do for Subaru and for Garf. I wonder if this is what she's been seeing the whole time. Well, now we definitely know that, Echidna. <laughs> now we definitely know that. Because she's the Gwish of Greed and has all the knowledge. So she did this once, but with a very, very jaded mindset. So now we get the full Amelia one. Yeah. She's doing it. Here we go. Something she wanted to keep. Princess room? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, I got you. Face through the walls. Got it. <gasps> Mama. Oh. Her mom. We saw her kind of a little bit ago. Oh, here we go. She's so cute. Chibi Amelia is so cute. <laughs> I just want to squeeze her cheeks. That's her mom. Oh, it's 100% her mom. Look at her. She just she has a spitting image of her. Fortuna. Oh, Fortuna. <laughs> what? Sorry. I just noticed that the fucking, br the little, uh, what's it, what are these things called? Brooch that her mom wears is the one that Amelia wears now. She's got a little flower on her little head right now, but she eventually gets this one. My br you have the same color hair. Oh. The mean eyes. It's weird that he calls her Fortuna. Was my fa- Oh, wait, her real- It's not her real mom. Oh, that's why she calls her that. Oh, it's like her aunt. What? Who is her real parents? So we don't even know who her real parents are. Oh, a little pouting Amelia. <laughs> so cute. Oh, and then it comes a spirit. Don't tell me this is Puck, bro. God damn right. Oh, oh, friend. What? Oh, oh, then she sneaks outside. Uh oh. Well, maybe there's a reason why they were keeping her in there. Maybe they kept her in there for a reason. And the village looks very similar to the village that's close to where she lived in the movie. It looks kind of... Ew, what are the... Why are they wearing stuff? That stuff. What's with the weird... Oh, wait. Are these cultists? They got the same outfits. Okay, more... Fortuna... Wait, before this man talks. Fortuna's got some crazy... Crazy hips action going on here. Okay, sorry, what? Um, what? That, that's Beetlejuice? What the fuck happened to this man? He talked, when he talks like this, he sounds, actually sounds like Kirito. What the fuck happened to this man? To get him to where he was. That's all right, I know. What is going on right now? What the fuck? 
What is the relation here? They were good people before? They became cultists? Maybe they're not cultists yet? He was such a nice person. What the fuck happened? The seal. The seal for what? What are we sealing? Huh? A sinner? What is going on, dude? What the fuck? Why does he know Amelia? Why do they know about Amelia? Oh my god, he's so well spoken too. He's not saying this! She looks super young. What you, oh, so she's an elf? Yeah, I can see that. I can see that when you turn around. Handle the rest of what? Oh, now you gotta run back. You're gonna get in trouble. Uh oh. Ah. <laughs> oh, she's all dirty. Did you make it back? But you're all dirty. Doshio, Doshio, she's so cute. The spirit. Don't tell me this is Puck. It cleaned her up real quick. The clothes aren't, though. Oh. She spilled the paint all on over herself. Oh my god. That's so smart. <laughs> I told you she got the booty action. Sorry, what? Talking about Fortuna. Oh. Oh. oh my god. Even though she's not a real she this is basically is her real mom. This basically is her real mom. Might as well be. Why is she Oh the... Yeah, that looks so cute. Oh, so beautiful, man. I can't. What? What do you mean, Akidna? It's so adorable. <laughs> Subaru. Oh, she's jealous. The fairy is Puck, I'm telling you. Wait, we got to see the terrible things that happen. There's something else. The seal. What is the seal? What? What? Snacks? The nuts? Oh! That seems kind of sus. Is that a little sus? Maybe? Ah, that look, that look squee. The little squee. What are they bringing in here? New clothes. They're still talking in the same area. It's like deja vu. Adult clothes. It Bro was flirting with Fortuna? Hey, yo. Oh. It was a real compliment because you're a beauty. Oh. He's wondering if you have a fever. He's just such... He's such a good guy at this point. What happened? I mean, I would sweep her off her feet too. Juice no baka. Everybody's a baka. <laughs> what is the seal and what does it mean and what is it for? This is my duty. The seal on the forest keeping everybody out, maybe?
Mm. The two of them. Uh oh. Oh, does she walk out to? F oh, it starts to change colors. Starting to get frosty. Starting to get frosty. What is that? What is that? Is why? Sorry, I'm just trying to take all this in, guys. I don't have opinions yet. Well, it's a big fat door. I feel like God is on the other side. And he's going to take away our body parts. And we're going to have to get them back from him. And fight the whole 64 episodes to do that. Some of the guys saw the love letter before she did. <laughs> yeah, true. I mean, Otto has a good point this time. Oh, Late night love letter. That's what he was up doing. <laughs> what are all his sayings, man? Wait, hey, she will be successful. Oh, damn, with the little flick from Ram, too. <laughs> what? Oh, Ryuzu? <laughs> we all know you're a granny's boy. Oh. Well, what about the mansion? How many days has it been? I'm still thinking in the back of my mind, what about the mansion? Pachi, pachi, pachi. So cute. Oh, they'll, they'll stick their tongue out. Oh, this is, it's not that simple, is it? Why? Is, it's all I, It's all wintry, too. Just in that area, it's ice. Uh-oh. 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 They couldn't find her? Yeah, but Yeah, but maybe not something good. I'm scared. What? Uh-oh. Wait, this is what we find out? That he's a bad person? <laughs> Uh-oh. Nice try to hide. That's like when Chopper... That's like when Chopper tries to hide behind stuff and goes, It's not because I like you or something. Baka. <laughs> I won't take that as a compliment. Konoyoro ga. Uh oh. What? Oh, she starts crying because she looks like because she looks like Satella. Is that why? Is that why? This is when he breaks. This is when he starts going crazy, huh? I have just. Being granted salvation? Huh? Huh? I'm a little scared, man. I'm no I don't like this. Huh. I'm sus. Oh. Oh. Oh, she's so nice, even when she was a little kid. Mm. 
Now she can. I don't know, man. I'm still trying to figure it out. <laughs> yeah, bro. And she needs to be strong for him. Oh, she loved it. Well, she doesn't look like she's suffering yet, but I don't know. We haven't gotten to the bad part yet. How much is left? Oh, God, we still got another eight minutes. Oh, fuck. This, yeah, this is gonna this is gonna be the bad part. <laughs> Man cannot run. Okay, I thought it was gonna be like some weird thing where he couldn't see her because she was forbidden to be seen or something like that, or something weird was gonna happen. I don't know, but the fact that he started crying just when he saw her just freaks me out. I think it's gotta be because she looks like Satella. Bro has not in shape. Sugoku. So her thing is very. That's her. That's her flirt phrase. Uh. <laughs> the pouting Amelia is too good, man. I know it's about to be broken just very soon. Um, oh, damn. <laughs> you, that little sound. Wait, hang on a second. Wait, 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 hang on a second. That little sound. That little eep sound. I gotta hear that again. <laughs> I love it. No. Oh. Oh. So whose fault is it? <laughs> oh, she's so cute. I can't. Amelia's too precious. Never go to that place. Sugoku. Don't betray the trust. Promise that you'll keep your promises. That's why she values promises so much. Oh. What a good little girl. That's why Amelia values promises so much. And then when Puck broke a promise and when Subaru broke the promise, that's why she broke so much. Like when she broke her feelings so much when that happened. Oh my God. It makes so much sense right now. Oh my. Now he's starting to get a little bit more personality now. Oh. I don't like that we can't see Juice's face right now. Okay. Okay, maybe not. Lesser spirits. I mean, she ends up being that, right? That is exactly what happened. He wasn't wrong. Uh, oh, so cute. I can't. The thing is, I just don't trust him because we know what he turns out to be. Oh. <laughs> Wait, what? How long does fucking Juice was supposed to live? They definitely had a thing, though. Oh, my God. There it is. Oh. 
Oh, we're well, we're well, we're well, we're well, what? We're well, what? Oh, my. Oh, dude, the pouting Amelia is so cute. <laughs> the pups are out. Oh, oh. you won't break it. Fortuna broke the promise too. The one she talked about when she woke up from her sleep just said Fortuna broke a promise. Oh, this song, what the fuck? And she doesn't end up fulfilling it, does she? I know this is supposed to be happy, but I just know we're on the brink of... Something horrible. Oh. Another promise. Yaksaku? Oh. God, she was so cute, man. Someone's coming. Someone? Wait a minute. That outfit... That was just like the uh, the cultist that we saw at the beginning of this season. I don't think his name was Gluttony. I think he was one of the other ones. It's the same outfit. What? 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 Uh-oh. 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 It's the same guy! It is the same guy! He has the white hair and the earring! This fucker... But he's got that aura. I don't like this. The music, man. <laughs> Representing greed! Regulus Corneus representing greed, echidna, greed, echidna, Corneus. Do they all have a connection? Well, not necessarily because like the other ones don't seem to really care. Like when we were at the witch's tea party, they didn't seem to really give a fuck about the witch's cult at all. They didn't give a fuck. Like we talked to Daphne, she didn't give a fuck about the gluttony kid that w that ate Rem's name and memories. Are we gonna say that the wit the hot witch of sloth that we saw forgot her name, sorry, but she was hot as fuck. Has any real relation to Beetlejuice? Or are they just powerful mages who are insane roaming around claiming that the name of the witches? I think that's more likely. Holy fuck, man. I don't wanna stop here, but I have to. Ah Fuck me in the butt. Oh my god, that sucks, man. Oh man, that sucks. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Dude, little Amelia is too fucking cute. The, my little Amelia could not be this cute. What the fuck, man? And then Fortu my little Fortuna cannot be this fucking hot and uh, milfy. God damn, that booty on her. I mean, but also, like, I just know something terrible is going to happen. So I was trying to, like, hold back all of the, the naughty thoughts. And I was just like, well, also, I mean, because there's a child around, you know, it's fucking Amelia here. But also, like, this is the incident that changes Juice for sure. This is the incident that makes Fortuna break her promise to Amelia. And maybe it's the reason why Amelia's powers go berserk. And we're, how long? How long was Amelia frozen in that icicle? How fucking long was she frozen in there? Because, like, if this happens now when she's this young and then she wakes up and she's in that, like, 17, 18 year old body, or, like, Obviously, I don't know what the true age of Amelia is with her elf, because it could be. What I'm saying is, her body became that of an 18 year old or above when she woke up, and then Puck wakes finds her, and that makes me think that Puck was that original spirit that we saw, like guiding her around, and maybe he just gained power over time, and then he found Amelia in the ice and broke it, 
and that's why he was apologizing to her back then. I think that's it. I think I've, I think that's definitely it. But it's just like, what is Corneus going to do here that leads down the, the fucking negative path? What a shit. What a fucking crazy set of episodes this was, man. Oh, my God. And the fact that they've done like almost half hour long episodes with no opening or ending. Dude, they're just they they this studio White Fox is like dedicated to making sure they get in as much content as physically possible in here. Could you imagine if Mashoku Tensei did this? Oh my god. Like all that skip content that people talked about, we would have gotten it. Like if they wanted to, obviously they had to pay a lot of fucking money to do that. I think Studio White Fox has been around for a long time. Studio Bind was really just getting its footing. I don't think they could afford to do that to buy that airtime. White Fox probably could, and I'm sure they probably made a shit ton of money off of this anime for sure in response to that. And if they didn't, then that's a goddamn shame because holy crap, the dedication to just fit in that much extra runtime just to even pay for it. You don't even get ads. Like you don't get ads with this. Like if you're if you're running a 30 minute TV slot in Japan with ReZero, you don't get ads on this. You that's one minute. It was just running for one minute. <laughs> that's crazy, man. That is crazy. I am so impressed. I cannot wait to see the rest of this story, but it's going to have to wait for the next video. So let me know your thoughts on these reactions on this, these episodes down in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Before we go, we just want to give a big shout out to our in the comments here, subscribers, and above on Patreon and YouTube. Could not do without your support. Thank you guys so much. Hunter DeLupin, JMC, Nick Tio, 11, Boning, Corey, Desmond Kelly, Eric Barton, Fireheart310, Full Metal, Hapoko, Jose Rafael Castor, Joseph Ariaga, Joshua Schaefer, Lucas Bull, Ostrom, Salty Fries, and Wall Eater. Thank you all. That's going to do it for me for this one. I've been Zach. You've been you. And I'll see you guys all in the next video.